I would have taken the bishop, maybe bishop b8 now if Hikaru feels frisky. But then rook to b4, I mean, tip, typically the connected passers are better, but uh -oh. white's king is also further away. e4 check? Yeah, e4 check. Don't blunder a fork with knight f7, but remember the bishop hits the white king. How are you going to stop c3, c2, c1? I mean, you're asking questions that I don't have an answer to. Knight g4, knight f6, even that doesn't work because the bishop can step in front of the rook. Don't tell me Hikaru was going to win this one too. Goes knight f7. Where's that knight going to? Back to g5. So what does he want after? H5, h6, h7. No, he's going to loot bishop, bishop f4. Bishop. Yeah, well, there's also bishop c7. In well, those but knight e4, knight f6 is a perpetual. Because the king can't walk to d8 because of a mate on d7. But what you were saying before, he could have played c2 because bishop c7 would always cut off the seventh rank after h6. What I was saying before? <laughs> well, this knight is just doing uh, really a hero's load of work right now. He's just going to check back and forth. If the king goes d8, as you said, rook d7 would have been 